Hey everyone, I am back to do another wig review for you on behalf of Wig Studio One. So as a guest reviewer, Wig Studio One occasionally sends me a wig to review. And today I have Peyton by Henry Margu in the color 814H. And I am so thrilled. I get kind of a double bonus because I have looked at Peyton so many times online. I think she is an adorable, adorable cut. And I am very curious about Henry Margu colors. They're very hard to understand. And so this 814H, I was so excited to get. It's just so pretty. It's a beautiful, beautiful eight brown. It's a medium golden brown with a 14 highlight, which is sort of a, a golden blonde. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So before I get too, too into this review, let's just quickly talk about Wig Studio One. So Wig Studio One is an online retailer they have a website where they sell all different name brand wigs and um, often have coupon codes. Right now they do have a coupon code beautiful you and you will get 30% off most brands. Unfortunately, Henry Margu is a brand that doesn't allow um, discounts very often. A couple of times a year they do, but the 30% off is good on virtually all the brands. There's just a couple of exceptions. So when you go there to make the purchase, it will tell you on the wig, the, the page with the wig, whether or not it's coupon eligible. Uh, also, they have a Facebook group. Uh, it's it's um, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Great place to go to get support questions answered, see pictures of wigs. You know, it's just, I believe wig wearers can use all the support that they can get. It's, a, it's an expensive thing to undertake. Um, wigs can be confusing and this Facebook group is fabulous. So I highly recommend it. All right, Peyton. I am really excited as well about this because I'm gonna do a comparison. I have Tony of Beverly, Isla, and I think this is, is Isla's doppelganger with some great added benefits. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and I will show you Isla. But first, let's just talk about Peyton. Peyton is this just unbelievably cute, um, kind of chin length bob with layers. So it's not a straight bob, but she's got very, very long layers and she has a few little waves in her. She's not curly. The waves are really just kind of a part of the, um, the layering. So cute. This style is just right up my alley. I just love this style. I'm always looking for a wig that is a good work wig. Something I can wear to work. I work in a professional job and that I feel polished and put together. It's not too trendy. Um, it's not hot. I'm hot all the time. I'm just, I run hot. My, it drives my family crazy. I keep the thermostat so low in the house because my philosophy is you can always put more clothes on, <laughs> but you can't take more clothes off at a certain point. And so this is just a cool length. And um, just, I, I don't know, guys, I don't know how to tell you how happy I am with this wig. I love it. Love, love, love it. She has a little bit of permatease up in here. Just a kind of a fine layer, not a ton. She is not like thick and poofy. The hair density is just perfect for this length. And what I really like about her is, as you can see, I was just playing with her a little bit. You can kind of mess her up and get her to look really, really kind of cute and funky. And a little bit of product will do that too, which I have not used on her. Or you can just take your wide tooth comb and you can smooth her out and just have this really polished, professional look. She's just so versatile. I love this kind of somewhat messy look. I just love it. She is great for tucking. I've been playing with her a lot. She's really great for tucking, which I'm a huge fan of and I say it in a lot of videos. Um, she tucks great. Uh, she's so comfortable. The lace front, let's just take a look at the lace front, is decent. It's good. I mean, it's decent. It's good. It's really actually pretty good. 
I like the lace front. I could wear her off my face with no concerns. One thing I will say, just now when I did this, I can feel a little bit of that permatease up there. It's not heavy at all, but she does have permatease. If you're looking for a wig that is totally flat to your head and really like flat and contoured, um, Kai by Renee Paris is like that. Um, I think Victoria by John Renault, then this might not be for you. There is some poof here. She is not overly poofy or dense, but there definitely is some poof right here. And I'll show that to you. She actually has a full mono top as well. Let's just get right to the cap. Because I could play with her for 10 more minutes. She's just so cute. Full mono top, which I love. You know, honestly, as my wig journey progresses, I was at one point really a fan of just mono parts because they're cheaper. Uh, the more lace, the more features, the more expensive. But I'm learning to really appreciate a good mono top. It just gives some more realism, even if I don't change the part. There's a bit more realism there, so I really like that. She has the, so there's the lace front, mono, and the lace front is generous. It goes all the way to the ear tabs. That's really generous. Sometimes they'll stop over here. Velvet ear tabs, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, which we really like. And otherwise, she's just wefted. She does have a thin coating of permatease. Do you see it? Crimpy fibers all throughout the cap. What's good about that is it's going to hide the wefting. Because she's fairly short and she's got a lot of layers, if you don't have that permatease and the wind blows, you end up seeing the wefting. So... You know, making peace with permatease opens up a lot of options to you, and I've learned to appreciate well-done permatease. This is well-done permatease. It's in all the right places. Protecting um, those wefts so that if the wind blows, you won't see them. And then where it's a little poofy on the top, it's actually where the mono filament is. So it's just got some, you know, it really doesn't have any permatease. I think it's just the density of the hair on the top. Uh, you know, to kind of, again, to give it a little more realistic look up here and to allow for a little lift so she's not so flat to the head. And when you've got a full mono part, if you don't have enough hair up top, if you don't have enough hair up there, it can look really flat. So you see you can part her in the middle. She kind of just did that a little bit on her own here. You just have so many parting options with the monofilament. So, you know, a lot of wigs come with the left-hand part and if you're a right-hand parter who just had to learn to live with it, you can choose to part this one wherever you want. She fits me great. There's just a teeny, teeny, tiny extra bit of cap up here, which I always have extra cap because I am child size, between child and petite, on the top of my head. This is nothing. It's barely any, and I usually have quite a bit. I also um, could probably take her in ever so slightly. Um, I'm a 22 inch circumference. So I'd say she fits pretty true to average. If you're an average large, this may feel snug on you a little bit because I don't have a lot of room. The coverage is really good. My bio hair is right here. It practically covers all of my bio hair. That's pretty rare. I usually have a good amount of bio hair showing. I don't on this one. So this is really good coverage. And that lace goes all the way down to here. So what does that mean? It means if you want to pull it back, pull her back into a little clip to get her off the face, not only can you do that, you can pull her back a little lower than typical. Sometimes I have to stop here and leave a whole bunch of hair down, but this one I can go pretty far and, and still hide still hide those ear tabs in the cap. So that is fantastic. So let's do a quick comparison to Isla. This color, again, is so beautiful. 814H brunette with some just beautiful, beautiful highlighting to brighten it up, but it's not overly bright. It's a just a beautiful medium medium brown just beautiful all right wait a minute let's do this right I'm about to do a comparison <laughs> so I want you to take a look before I switch okay that's not the best kind of restyling but 
Good enough. Okay, they're very close, you guys. It's really kind of amazing. Okay, so Isla's been living in her box for quite some time, months and months. I've worn Isla a lot. I love Isla. But she's not new. Look at how close they are. They're so close. They're really, really close. So um, the difference is Isla has a lace front but no monofilament. It's just a basic cap up here. And there is a little bit of visible permatease on Isla. She does have um, permatease. I don't think Isla has any more permatease than Peyton. And then what I'll say about that is when I first got Isla, she seemed poofy to me. Um, so I have to keep going, like in my head, I have to go back to my beginning wig wearing roots to help my beginning wig wearing sisters because I'm, I'm really getting used to things that used to give me a lot of problem. Permatease is one of them. I'm getting used to permatease. I see lots of value in it, but I remember putting Isla on and feeling like I needed to do this, honestly. Now she did settle quite a bit over um, the wares and permatease will settle. It'll settle a lot. It just depends on how much permatease it has. So Isla has settled. But if you have been eyeing Isla or you have Isla and you like her, but you wish she had a mono part, here is her twin. Honestly, they're so close. And you get the whole monofilament. Um, they both have a great lace front. They feel really, really similar. They really do. All right, I think I've told you everything. Beautiful lace front. I love this style. I'm gonna get outside with the color. I did do an out of the box, but guys, this is pretty much out of the box. I didn't have to mess with her too much. Um, she looks really good out of the box. Uh, so I would say this is a winner. I really like this. If you like this style, chin length, some, some layers, you like a little bit of styling flexibility, flat, messy, she checks all the boxes for me, every single one. Thanks for watching. Stick around for the outside look of this really pretty color. Hey guys. All right, so I'm out here to give you a color of 814H in natural lighting. It's very cold outside. <laughs> I actually had to leave work for a little bit to do this because daylight is in short supply nowadays. Hopefully this is working for you guys. This color is so pretty. It is very, very neutral. It has some warm and cool tones, which just gives it a real neutral appearance. Nothing too ashy or warm. Really great, I love it. This is actually my third day in a row wearing this beautiful, beautiful Peyton to work actually and I'm I'm just loving her I can't recommend her enough she's so comfortable all day wears so great looks so good I love it all right guys I hope this was helpful I hope I'm kind of got a bunch of trees around me so I hope I'm getting enough light on here thanks for watching hey guys okay so this is I gotta look at the name again Peyton <laughs> out of the box and I'm trying to get better about just getting an out of the box filmed as soon as I get the video. Who cares how I look, how my makeup looks. It's about almost 10 o'clock on Friday night and I'm kind of looking a mess but I don't care. I want you guys to see the out of the box. Peyton looks amazing out of the box. This is Peyton out of the box. Honestly, she looks so good. I probably could have just filmed this video without doing it out of the box, but I'd like to just try to do that whenever possible. So here she is. I cannot wait to wear her and do a review on her. She is adorable. And she looks a lot like Isla from Tony of Beverly, 
with a full mono top and a lace front. So this is gonna be an awesome comparison and I plan to do that. So you'll have seen all that already, so I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. So she looks great out of the box. Thanks for watching.